What is something illegal you have done and got away without getting caught? I stole my own car from the tow and pound lot, best part was getting the certified letter months later that they were going to auction it if I didn't come and pay for it. My friends and I didn't pay for our dinner at Steak and Shake this past weekend. I stood waiting at the register trying to pay for 20 minutes, but no one came to take my money. It was 12.30 am before we left. This might come as a surprise to people who've never worked at restaurants before, but it happens really often. At this restaurant I used to work at, I've had people walk away, only to come back the next day, apologize and pay and give the same reasoning you did. Not sure how it works where you're from, but a lot of restaurants here in Amsterdam will charge the waiter or whoever was responsible for watching your table. I once kept a dead otter in my freezer after finding it on the side of the road. In the UK this can get a hefty fine and prison time without a license. Once I found out I released the dead otter into the wild. It was a bit like free willy but with less movement. Stole a Blue Angels flag from the hangar they were parked in. When I was in the Navy the Blue Angels planes out and I had to fix our birds out in the rain. Fit of on the last day they were to the mez and stole the flag hanging still have the flag and wear it like a cape from time to time. I found out that this specific guy stole my phone from checking previous text on my account and calling numbers they were in contact with. He wouldn't admit he stole it, so I broke into his house via balcony, stole his laptop, and left a singed note to meet me and return my phone to get his laptop back. It totally worked and everyone got their stuff back. Worked at a car dealership, broke many finance and insurance fraud laws on a daily basis for years. Most finance managers do and may not even be aware or it. I stole a piece of obsidian from biology class. At the next lesson biology teacher came to our classroom and forced us to admit who stole an obsidian. But I didn't. I visited an abandoned building. Someone called the police and 30 minutes later we saw firefighters walking into the huge building just to search us. Luckily we saw it when we were already out. GF's car got a flat tire and the company I worked for had a tire changer and will balancer and I knew the guys who operated it. We just needed a tire, so we go to Walmart, but the tire shop was closing early because they were slow and would not sell me a tire. I was pretty pissed and seen tires with cardboard cutouts in them on top of the shelves in the automotive department. I grabbed the one we needed and knocked out the cardboard and just walked out with it. Told the door greeter it was much cheaper here than anywhere else. I went to see Joe Biden speak during a campaign rally for the general election in 2008. It was at an apple orchard and the people who owned it had a basket of apples for Joe Biden and his staff by the stage. As soon as he left I, along with half of the front row, got up and stole some of Joe's apples. They were among the best I've ever had. Sorry Mr. Vice President, but if I had the chance I'd steal your apples all over again. Probably climbing a signal tower in Egypt. I realized afterwards that it was on military land. Then proceeded to climb it another couple of times. Oh to be young and carefree broke into a church, made a mess. Went into the kitchen made myself a sandwich, snacks, grabbed a soda. Went on my merry way back home. Woke up the next day. Sober me felt guilty. Went back to apologize and pay for any damage. Ended up with a felony. I lived with my boyfriend for a couple of years at a time when it was illegal in this state to do so. This was in the early 1980s, so not the distance past. I got pulled for urinalysis duty in the Navy. The first class in charge, at a certain point, asked if I was cool and, without actually waiting for an answer, proceeded to toss one of the samples. Presumably it was for a friend who was going to piss hot. I briefly worried that this was a test and Mark Harmon was waiting to see if I would do the right thing. Then I realized it wasn't. Dude was just a shitbag, and I should turn him in. But I didn't because it wasn't my turn to give a fuck. <laughs>